Man, I can't wait for this weekend. Doing something godless this weekend, I bet. Are you gonna sacrifice a baby to Satan or maybe fornicate on a church altar? You wish. Sass and I are going camping. A little campfire action, a little hiking action, a little s'mores action, and maybe a little action action if you catch my meaning. I caught your meaning and it was sticky. I don't like camping. Or nature. Or animals, really. I think the wilderness should be experienced as God intended on the Discovery Channel. You're camping in the wilderness? No, I'm going camping in Walmart. Of course in the wilderness. Well, good luck. Make sure to take a taser and some industrial strength mace. Why? Probably for druids. They love them some trees. I bet they'd like nothing better than to have their way with a couple of campers deep in the forest. Unless... That's what you're up to this weekend. Are you and your druid friends going hunting for camper tail? I'm not a druid, and I'm not a Satanist, and you have the dumbest ideas about both. AJ, why do I need protection this weekend? It's the start of Bigfoot season. Of course it is. Thanks for the warning. I'll make sure to bring my Bigfoot gun. I'll pack it next to my Wookalar detector and my Bunyip traps. Scoff all you want, but marches when the Sasquatch come out of their caves looking for mates. And after sleeping all winter, they're not very picky. It doesn't matter if you're a female Bigfoot, a moose, or a hapless camper. If you want to survive the weekend, I recommend steel underpants. You believe in big feet? What are you, 12? You don't believe in Bigfoot? Nope. I also don't believe in Loch Ness monsters, chupacabras, space aliens, and moderate liberals. I have evidence proving the existence of all of those things. Well, except the moderate liberal. Wait, 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 wait. I can understand not believing in cryptids, but you. You refusing to believe in them while you believe in giants, unicorns, and dragons takes the cake. Wait, Fundy believes in giants, unicorns, and dragons? You bet I do. They're in the Bible, so that means they're real. But there's no evidence for their existence. There's no evidence for the existence of the cryptids that you believe in. I happen to have hundreds of YouTube videos and eyewitness testimonies. Doctored videos and hearsay isn't evidence. Yeah, now if Bigfoot and Nessie were in the Bible, then you'd have all the evidence you'd ever need. The Bible isn't evidence either. Both of you believe in stupid made-up shit. There is no such things as cryptids or biblical myth critters. Well, you believe in aliens, Jason. Well, look at the pot calling the kettle stupid. Mr. Logic believes in little green men. Ha! Aliens are real and they've been amongst us for centuries. They control every aspect of our lives. I've seen the photos. I've met with those who have been abducted and probed. I don't believe that aliens have visited Earth. I don't believe that they've abducted people. And I don't believe that they control anything. I believe in alien life. You know, as in life on other planets. Impossible! There would be a whole chapter in the Bible about that, and there isn't. So you believe that aliens exist, but not that they've been here. Exactly. Considering the number of planets in the universe that could support life, it's practically a given that we're not alone. And you dare make fun of my sacred belief in giants, unicorns, and dragons? What you believe in is just as not provable. I never said it was provable, I said it was likely. It's just that the odds are in the favor of what I believe, whereas there is fuck all to support yours or AJ's. I believe in ghosts. Me too. Me three. Aw, oh, come on, Gary. Ghosts, really? I can't help it. I saw one. It was right after my grandma died, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and there, standing in the hallway, was my grandma eating a bedsheet. Eating a bedsheet? It was my maternal grandma, so she was a goat. Ever since then, I believe that ghosts are real. But that could have been you still dreaming or hallucinating. Oh, so we can't trust our senses now, can we? So if I saw Jesus riding a unicorn in my backyard, you wouldn't believe me? Yeah, I've seen lots of things in the sky that were probably ships from another planet, but apparently my eyes aren't good enough to convince you. For the last time, personal observation isn't evidence. 
But you believe in aliens. Where's your evidence? I don't have any. It's just a belief I have based on the available model we have of the universe. At least my belief is based on science and not because I thought I'd done seen a ghost and an alien anal probing a Bigfoot. So now I'm dumb because I saw my grandma's ghost? I didn't say that. I said you could have been mistaken or hallucinating. And I must be dumb because I believe in cryptids and aliens? No, I think you're basing your belief on questionable and flimsy evidence. Oh, and I guess I'm dumb because I believe what the Bible tells me. Yes, you're dumb. You're incredibly fucking dumb. Jason! Well, I'm just sick and tired of being attacked by people that believe in ghosts and Bigfoots and unicorns because I believe that there could be life on another planet. Okay, calm down. No, you calm down. I just wanted to go camping and you guys turned this into belief debate 2014. I am sick and tired of living in this fucked up backwards planet filled with people who believe in stupid things and mythical creatures who then turn around and get angry when I try to explain to them that what they believe is based on non-scientific irrational hamster scat. Uh, we better put a cap on Jason's rage or he's gonna blow. Like, all over my face. Ugh. That was really gross. Let's do the what do you guys think part. Now, how do you feel about that, Jason? Fine. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. Um, what do you guys think? Do you believe in something that may not necessarily have scientific evidence? And is that the same thing as believing in something based on your religious beliefs? Or believing in something based on questionable evidence? Or should you just blow your brains out because no matter what you say or do on this planet, it's doomed to believe in idiotic bullshit. Comment for whatever good it'll do you. Okay, let's, uh, let's all cool off. Yeah? Yeah, no need to beat somebody to unconsciousness just because he believes in unicorns. Or Sasquatches. Or ghosts, right? It just gets to be too much, you know? Oh, sure, sure. Hey, why don't you go camping? Now. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Camping. Possible nookie with my girlfriend. Uh, have fun. Just leave. Don't get raped by Bigfoot. Ah! Hello, my fellow Opinion Villagers. Today is February, Friday 28th, 2014, and it's Floral Design Day, National Tooth Fairy Day, Read Me Day, Rare Disease Day, and U.S. Snowshoes Day. You know, not to be confused with Latvian Snowshoes Day, which is far grander and, well, actually more authentic than regular old U.S. Snowshoes Day. U.S. show snooze, show snooze. Now on to the questions. First up, the amazing flying atheist surprisingly has another question. Intimate question for Sensi, Oswald, and Evil Oswald. What do you think of go-to commands? Evil Oswald? I've never heard of anybody named Evil Oswald. Just me, cute, lovable Oswald. In fact, I would say that anyone who's saying that there is an evil Oswald is obviously crazy and should probably be hunted down in the streets. That was perfect. You are a wonderful monster. Thank you, voice in my head. My Thousand Faces asks, Intimate question. What do you consider to be the single greatest threat to the continued existence and thriving of the human species? Uh, after giving it a lot of thought and a lot of consideration, thinking about all of the things that could uh, potentially end the existence of the human species on this planet, I think that the number one threat against the human species is the human species itself. Mark Shannon asks, Intimate question for anyone. Will the internet be the downfall of religion, or could it spawn new ones? Yeah, stupid question. It's not stupid at all. Uh, do I think the internet is going to spawn the downfall of religion? No. 
It will, however, spawn new ones, or take small obscure ones that no one had ever heard about and make them grow. It's hard to tell what kind of influence the internet's going to have on religion, but I don't think it's going to kill it. I do not agree that religion, that the internet is a place where religion goes to die. Radical Bacon asks, question for Fundy Monster. How do you like the Olympic figure skating competition? Uh, listen, there's gay, and then there's gay, and I'm not gay. I don't like things like fig figure skating or uh, floral design or any of them stereotypical things. I'm a manly monster puppet. I like manly monster things like hunky, muscular, sweaty dudes like chopping firewood or shooting a gun or making conservative legislation, you know, in like a House Senate position, all oiled up and glisteny. Uh, uh, anyway, that's the answer to my question. Unofficial 13th Doctor asks, Intimate question, meet Jason. Who did you base Dunderhead on? Um, this has been asked before and it's been answered originally, like, I don't know, three years ago. Dunderhead was um, based on Thunderfoot. That was the original basis of it. But doing a direct satire of any um, YouTube um, user really wasn't my style. So I basically turned him into your garden variety overblown atheist. He's not really based on uh, Thunderfoot at all anymore and has become his own character. He's now the resident scientist and the uh, resident fundamental atheist. I know that there are some people who don't believe that they're a fundamental atheist, to which I say, you need to get around YouTube a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Until next time, my little gummy bears, this has been Jason with the day. <sighs> hey, Jason. What's wrong, Oswald? The Winter Olympics are over. You are seriously depressed because that overhyped, overproduced, supposed sporting event held in that bigoted, backwards country is over? Yeah, and it's left a big hole in my cute little heart. Why? Are you that big a fan of winter sports? Not all winter sports, just curling. And Canada always is the one with the gold medals. Lousy Canada people. They sure can brush a good curling sheet. Well, I'm sorry, but they'll be back soon enough. Maybe doing the shoutouts will get your mind off it. It better or I'm gonna blow my adorable little brains out. Hey everybody, time to do your shout out. Great, huh? Hello, unofficial 13th doctor. Can you do that? Then I want to be the unofficial king of Suzy Q dessert cakes. Survivalist media. My Uncle Dinkle is a survivalist. He lives off the land. And by land, I mean the dumpsters behind Burger King. 24 fanatics. Why's come all 24 of you's gotta share one account? You know, if all 24 of you had different accounts, then we'd have 24 subs instead of one. Walking map. Do you need a map to find the walking map? Cause it walks around and stuff? Sick of Washington. I'm sick of Washington too. All like he's all like, I'm the father of the country. What a head on that guy. Richard the Awesome. Hi Richard, I'm Oswald the Super Awesome. Mine's better because of the super. Synchro Hawk 3. Are you a toy slash cartoon from the 80s like Thundercats or Silverhawks or um, Titano Hamsters? Unacknowledged and uncredited. Uh, after finding out what those words meant, I'm not sure if I should chat you out because of the whole unacknowledged thing. Leaping mutton. Just so long as it leaps into my mouth. I love mutton. Invisible camel. Are you a one hump or two hump invisible camel? <laughs> I said hump twice. Okay, that's all. Remember to tell me, Jason, if you want your name to come out of my mouth. Bye. So when do the next Winter Olympics happen? In 2018. Four years? Well, it better be somewhere good. It's in Pyeongchang, South Korea. No, seriously. 
Pyeongchang, that's where they are, I swear. Yeah, right, I may be a dumb little blue monster, but I'm not that dumb. There's no such place. Oh, hello, greetings. You've made it to the end of another episode of Opinionville. And now, here's a helpful list of things you could have done with your time instead of doing that. Number one, doing your taxes. Unless, of course, you're a student and you're exempt, in which I say, good for you. Number two, perhaps calling a relative who's lonely. Perhaps you're saving them from suicide. Perhaps they're sitting at home thinking, what's the point? No one likes me. No one loves me. Especially that no good rotten nephew who I just wrote out of my will. Perhaps you could have called them, save their life, and get back into their good graces. Perhaps there could be a big paycheck waiting for you at the end of the day. Hmm? What are you doing? Uh, nothing!